Hey guys, what's up? Um, just switching it up here this time. Uh, this is XCOM. Uh, I think it's XCOM Enemy Unknown, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that though. I will look it up and then later on um, admit my whether or not I was right or wrong. Um, this is not a live commentary. I recorded this uh, maybe a couple days ago, um, playing with my friend, um, who you'll see in this is, screen name is Adash Rock, uh, or Adash Rock, I don't know how he wants to pronounce it, um, so if, if you're watching this, uh, Adash Rock or Rock, uh, give me something, you know, let me know, otherwise I'm going to completely butcher that on these videos all the time. Um... So yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have played it. Uh, if you haven't, it's basically a turn-based, um, isometric, like, almost, um, like the old Final Fantasy Tactics, or I think, uh, I don't know if you've played, if anybody's played Metal Gear Peace Walker, um, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's basically a turn-based action game, um, that incorporates, you know, chance to hit and things like that, um, with the added benefit of having aliens and laser guns, so it's pretty cool, um, I haven't played a whole lot of the single player, um, actually I haven't played any of the single player, I think I played the tutorial intro mission, uh, and then I kind of stopped because I got this, uh, I think it was in a bundle with something, um, and it was just kind of one of those games that I got on Steam, you know how Steam gives games away for free, because they have, like, all the money in the world, um, so yeah, I, I, uh, I got that, this game from Steam a while ago for free, you know, I installed it, I tried it out, and then, um, some things happened, I lost most of my game data, uh, and I never, ins I didn't install it again. Uh, but then I found out recently that Mr. Dash Roke, um, he had it. So, uh, I tried to convince him to play, and I finally got him to, because I downloaded it. Uh, and this is our first match against each other, and neither of us really know how to play. Uh, I suspect he was lying about that, uh, because that's what he told me. And as you'll see from this gameplay footage, uh, he's a little bit better at this than he leads on. Um, but I haven't really played a game like this, gosh, in, you know, a while. So, I'm not, I'm used to fast-paced action and dying and not really budgeting my teammates. So, this first match goes pretty poorly, but we played a couple games, um, of which I'll, I'll likely upload. So, this is the first one. Um, and it's pretty quick. I think we make it like six turns or something. Um, whereas the next one that we played, uh, I think we make it like 13 turns. And it's a little bit longer. Um, and uh, for anybody who does play XCOM, it's just a private game. Um, me and him, 20,000 points max. Um, so that's what we're going off of for our point limit on character... Um, upgrades and all that, the equipment, uh, and you can see here I'm messing with my options because I was originally going to try and use the original audio so you could hear me and him talking, um, but one, it wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be because um, we really didn't know what we were doing, so a lot of the time it was just us going, oh, what the heck, oh, what the heck, oh, crap, oh, what the heck, um, probably a little more elaborate than that, but uh, it wasn't entertaining, so uh, for this first video, I'm Probably for the next couple of them, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do a, a narration, a commentary over it, um, but not a live commentary. Um, because, yeah, it uh, didn't come out very well. The audio is there, um, and I have it, but I've got to kind of, I don't know, we, we got to agree, me and, me and my friend got to agree when we're going to do that so that uh, we're not just like yelling out profanities at each other the whole time. Um, and we can kind of do a structured conversation about the game or about what we're doing. Because um, a lot of time it's just us being sneaky, so we'll get really quiet and be like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, where's your last guy? Mm. Uh, at least I do that anyways. 
So, um, yeah, this is basically my, uh, again, my first time playing this, so you will see me stumbling a lot through options, trying to figure out how to get my character to move, trying to do things, and um, getting uh, essentially butchered by uh, my friend, because I think he's probably played a couple more missions than he's let on, um, and knows exactly what to do. Um, so that's kind of the intro to this video. Uh, I do, again, I have a couple more of these that I will upload, uh, and just kind of maybe start a little series off of it. Probably not going to do too many episodes. It really depends on how often we play. Um, it's kind of one of those games that you really got to have maybe 30 minutes or so to sit down and just play. I mean, most games are like that, but, uh, it's, you can't like quit in the middle of it or something. Um, I mean, I guess you can, but it's not one of those games, <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be a little bit harder to play, especially since it's really only multiplayer. The single player is cool, but it, it's, it's a little bit less interesting when you're trying to record it because it's more story-driven than action-driven. So it really is just watching one guy sit around taking time to move his character around a map and you don't really get a whole lot of the story out of it, um, unless you just, like, don't even commentate it, so, um, which, I mean, I, I, it's possible, I'm sure somebody out there can do that, and has done that, it's definitely, um, one of the things, but I'm, my, my, uh, my thing is I'm gonna try and just talk in these videos, um, explain what's going on, or just have, again, the raw footage of us kind of goofing off, um, there are funny things that happen when we play, and there were when we were playing this, but uh, again, the audio wasn't the greatest quality either, because I'm still trying to figure out how to record both him and me um, in the same quality as myself. Um, we're usually using Skype when we do things like this, and for whatever reason, um, his call quality is a lot worse than um, some of the other people I talk to, but it, it could be me. Um, I don't have the best internet either. So, uh, it kind of creates a, a difficulty when recording it because his will be really fuzzy. And I'm sure, I mean, he has a really good mic, so it sounds fine on his end if he were to record himself. So, uh, I may have to try and work out something where he records his audio and then I just have him send me it and something like that. I mean, I don't know how other people do it. I'm kind of just stumbling through this, so... If you have any suggestions, though, go ahead and feel free, you know, definitely let me know how you would do it if you have any um, any idea of another, maybe even another program that I can use to kind of talk to him and have that call quality because um, Skype, I mean, I like Skype, but obviously it's kind of more for just chatting with people, not necessarily doing like a recording, a group call for um, video games or something. We just use it because... It's easy, we've used it for a while, um, but uh, I, I myself am definitely open to other suggestions um, as to, you know, what to use for that. So, that uh, that's that. I mean, if anybody was interested, you know, in that. <laughs> um, so, as you can see here, I have poured all my men into the bar, um, and I'm going to find out very shortly here that that was a mistake. Um, because, again, he is sneaky. Uh, and you can see here, I've been trying to fire a rocket, but I didn't realize that I can't move and then fire a rocket. So I just go ahead and accept the fact that I can't do it, and then I turn it in before I can do anything. So, more example of me not being really ready for it. Um, this game, that is. But, uh... It's, uh, I also, I adjust the rules on some of the other ones. Right now we have 120 seconds per turn. I realize that's an outrageous amount of time. I mean, in six turns, it makes sense that we've only made it through, I mean, that we make it through six turns in this long of a video because 120 seconds a turn, I mean, that's, what, 12 minutes, right? Basic, no, that's even more than that because it's two minutes per person. So, yeah, it could have gone a lot longer than it did. So in the in the, the future videos, I lowered it to 90 seconds, but I'm trying to figure out that sweet spot where we can still make good moves, um, but not take the entire game. 
because I, I feel like if we have enough time, you know, if we have 120 seconds, we're going to use that 120 seconds most of the time. Um, if it's deciding where we want to go or not, you know, that, and that obviously is, um, more time is better because we can decide, but less time gives us more of a, um, kind of like that chance that the game is going to go wrong because we didn't have enough time to move our character in the right spot or something. So we end up having to, to make uh, quick decisions and, and things can go, um, horribly wrong or things can go ho- horribly right, you know? If that's even a thing, I don't think you can get horribly right. So yeah, um, the next couple of games that I will upload, um, we have 90 second timers versus 120 second timers on the turns, and uh, they go a, probably about the same length, but um, in in terms of time, but the turn amount is higher because we can, you know, we we squeeze more turns into the same amount of time. Um, and you can see here, he just popped a smoke grenade, which I think is interesting that it's pink or purple actually purple um but uh it was a good move except for he fogged himself so and he still sniped me through it but uh you know i he had some kind of plasma rifle i think i think that's the plasma rifle he has um on his sniper which i don't have that on my sniper and not to mention i didn't really know which one was my sniper at that point um i kind of jumped into the game and started moving characters not even really thinking about uh, tactics. So my sniper is somewhere in there. I think she's still alive at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, I never really get to use her. Oh, look, I killed one of his guys. I think that's the only person I kill. Uh, I send my little robot over here. I called him HAL 9000. How fitting, because he's a drone. Uh-huh, I'm so clever. Um, and I, I'm going to attack him. And three damage. Yeah, that was stupid. Um... I believe that's my sniper there that I have selected, uh, and I honestly don't know what to do with her. I'm freaking out trying to figure out where to move her, um, and I'm, I'm at this point I've realized I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose, so I go ahead and I stick her behind my drone. I had an idea in the back of my head that maybe uh, it would block the shot. I mean, logically, it should, but then again, I guess if you're aiming for somebody... And, you know, regardless of what's in front of you, you're probably going to aim for that person anyways, and, and your chances of hitting them are still going to be the same. So, um, it makes sense that he's able to kill me with a robot standing in front of him. But, uh, I don't find it fair, probably because I'm the one who made the bad decision at that point. So, just a little upset about it. Um... I think uh, I have my so my team is outfitted with a sniper. Um, I, f- I have a medic who's got like a laser rifle and some weak weak armor. I have a heavy with a rocket launcher, and um, I have a recon chick with a shotgun. And then I have, I believe, let's see, I have a heavy, a sniper. I have the recon chick with a shotgun. I have a regular soldier who has a laser rifle as well, uh, and a grenade, I think. And then I have my robot, and then I also have, uh, there's one more, and I know it's it's there at the back of my head, and I'm kind of forgetting what uh, I made it. So heavy, um, sniper, I think it's just another soldier. It's two soldiers, a sniper, a heavy, and then um, another soldier. And then the robot. Um, I'll have to look that up so I can clarify it in the next one. But that's my my setup. Um, because I kind of wanted to round it out. You know, I wanted a medic. I wanted to have some soldiers for the heavy hitting. And then I wanted a heavy for the really heavy hitting. And then a sniper to pick them off. And then my row, my drone, which is probably a mistake. But it was the only way I could fit a sixth person in with all the points. I've spent, um, my drone was just kind of for recon, and I know, I see that right there, I don't know if you, if you were paying attention, but, uh, that guy just smashed that window open to then shoot my character who was right outside in front of him, so I thought that was funny, a little glitch there, um, a couple of those throughout the game I've seen, like, bodies, when you kill them, they'll fly and kind of, like, glitch through walls and stuff, and I think in a second you're gonna see HAL 9000 get shot through the guy, um, no idea if it looks like that to my friend, but it's funny because it just kind of doesn't make any sense. 
Um, but yeah, as I was saying, rounded out my team. Didn't round out my skills. I'm going to repeat that one more time. I suck. And I just died again. So now I'm down to two guys. I have a robot who has three health. And I have, I believe, my medic uh, who can't heal anybody for some reason. I still hadn't figured out how to do the revival. Um, and then he's got a guy hiding in the back that I didn't know about. So not only did I just get killed by half his team, um, but he still has that guy you know, just sitting back there with full health. So if I had a chance, probably don't have it anymore. Um, yeah, so I see, I keep trying to revive people, but I didn't know that they have to be critically wounded, which is apparently another version of dead. Um, your character can get, you know, a character can get critically wounded, but not die. Um, see, I'm just trying to press anything to, to figure out what to do. And, uh, at that point, I hadn't known what Overwatch did. I didn't know what Grapple was for. It was all kind of new to me. So I, I think I just end up going, screw it. And I try and shoot at the guy behind the bar. Yep. And uh, and then I just left my guy on the open, if you noticed that. So uh, that guy's pretty much screwed. So at this point, I mean, the game's about to end. Um, so I just, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now. Um, so yeah, this is XCOM again. I'm going to try and create more of these um definitely still trying to get more games in there i i know with the the nearing of grand theft auto 5 um, i'm gonna have to get some uh hardware to be able to record that because that's definitely something i want to record i mean i've had some crazy experiences in grand theft auto 4 so i can't imagine what's going to happen in 5 um and that was my robot just getting shot through the guy so, uh, I hope, uh, videos like these are okay. Um, I realize it's hard to find something to talk about for, you know, 18 minutes when you're doing the commentary afterwards. So I'm, you know, I'm tr doing my best, um, to keep you entertained with my talk and with the gameplay at the same time. Um, but yeah, so if, if this is, uh, interesting, if you guys like this, let me know. I will keep making these again. I have a couple more I'll upload anyways. Um, but after that, let me know because uh, if it's not, I don't want to, you know, keep making them. Um, and uh, if it is, cool. And I just lost. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.